so hello everyone um this is from i uh, just want to i just want to create the short videos to show you how to start all the installation to start your courses um so now here when you are on your blackboard um, you want to go to the announcement and at the announcement we have this announcement right here and you want to click on installing anaconda eclipse and pydiv so these are the three um, tools that we want to install today in order to start a classes. And so now you just want to right click and open it in a new tab. And so this video is mainly for um, a Mac user um, because all this instructions is very clear for PC user. Some of the information in this instruction will not be very clear for Mac user. And this is why I want to create this video to show you how to install all the software you need it um, before you start your class. And so if you are a PC user, um, you can follow this instruction and uh, complete the installation. For a Mac user, you can also use this instruction. Um, and I also recommend follow the video that um, I created. And so when you start to open this file, the first two paragraphs just to tell you why we need to install Anaconda, um, Eclipse, and Pydiv. This one you can read it through by yourself. Um, basically, we will start first to set up Anaconda. Um, the step one right here, we will go to this link. Let me just turn off some of the link that I have over here. Um, all right, so when you right click on this link, it will lead you to here. And this is where you will install Anaconda. And because you are installing for Mac OS, so you wanna choose installing on Mac OS. Um, once you click on that, um, we will just follow the instruction right here. Um, let's click on Mac OS installer. Click on download and it will lead you to here. So I recommend using the 64-bit graphical installer. So you can see it's running on the left bottom right of your computer. Um, I believe this should be installed into your download folder. All right, so, so you can either click on here or you can go to your download folder and find your um, your install um, package that you just download. Uh, mine will be right here. So I just double click on that and hit continue. <clears throat> so here um, you just need to click continue, 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 agree with whatever that is. You click install. So um, while you are installing your <clears throat> the Anaconda, it might take a while in this step. Um, so while we are waiting for that, I just want to explain step number two in the instructions. So this only shown if you are download Anaconda in your Windows or your PC. For Mac user, it will not show anything like this. And that's why we um, want to create this video so that you can follow this instruction for Mac user. Um, so we just gonna keep waiting until it finished this step. So now it's asking installer would like to access files in your download folder. We can click okay. So now the installation step just finished. Um, it will be right here and right here you just need to, it's just asking if you want to use the PyCharm Pro uh, at this moment, we don't really need that. So we're gonna continue. Um, and here we just need to click close. And at this step, it's just asking you if you wanna move the install installation uh, that you just downloaded to trash or to keep it. At this point, um, you already finished downloading, so you can move that to trash. Um, all right, so that is completing um, the step for Anaconda. And now you will move to step number two, which is setting up Eclipse and PyDev. So um, 
In this one, you will follow in here, step one, download and install Eclipse. You will use this link right here to um, install Eclipse Installer 2020-12R. Click on that link. You can see they have Mac OS, Window, and Linux. So you just choose Mac OS. And then click download. All right, so I'm just waiting for it to download. Um, so I think I couldn't see the download file because it say fail network error. So I'm just gonna resume that. All right, so that if you have the same problem, just click here and resume. So now it's finished. You can either click on that or click on your download folder and it will be right there. So now I'm just double click on here. I'm gonna close down the file and then I just double click on Eclipse Installer. <clears throat> Open. <clears throat> so now it is running the try to install Eclipse. Okay, so after it's run, um, this is where I am and you want to choose the Eclipse IDE for Java developer. So right here, it will ask for the installation folder. Um, you can choose a different folder or you can just go with the default um, um, address, which is user, your username and Eclipse Java. Um, so I'm just going to click install here. All right, let's see what it say. All right, so just, you can read through this if you want, and then you click accept. And that is start the process for installing. So after it's finished loading, um, you can see this and you can click on launch. And now it will start to um, run the Eclipse. And so that will be step number two, run Eclipse as well. Um, it will ask you to specify location for your project. Let me see. All right, so now it does asking for you um, for the location for your project. Um, you can choose the default setting or you can choose a different folder if you want. Um, for now, I'm just choosing the default and hit launch. All right, so this is what it show after you um, completing launching it. Um, you can turn off this welcome page um, and the donate page as well. And so this is your Eclipse environment after downloading. Um, so in the next step, we want to download and install PyD. So now we go to this link. All right, so in this link, let's see. Um, they said with your Eclipse running, drag and drop from the install button to open Eclipse editor window. So right now I am at this page. I am going to drag this install button to Eclipse environment. So now I'm just going to do that. Right, and this will start to run <clears throat> and it will show something like that. Uh, from this step, you just need to hit confirm All right, and wait for it to run. Okay, so at this step, you want to accept the term of license and agreement in finish. So you can see it is installing your PyD right here and it will show how, how many percentage that it has complete. So now I'm just waiting for that to be completed. And then once you're done, it will show this window and you want to hit restart now. All right, so it is restarting um, Eclipse right now. I will close this window and we'll go to step number five soon. 
after it's done. So in step number five, we just want to verify that we have PyDiv install. Um, and so to do that, we will go file new project from the menu. Um, new project window will show up. If you see PyDiv as one of the options in the window, you have successfully installed it. So now I'm just going to follow that file new project. And I can see PyDiv right there. So I have successfully installed it. Okay, so I click cancel. Step five is done. Step number six, we just want to configure PyDiv to use Python 3 interpreter. Um, so to do that, we will follow the step. We click file, file, new project, PyDiv, PyDiv project. Um, and then let's do that, file, new project. PyDiv, and then we will click on PyDiv project next. And so over here, you can name any project name for you. <clears throat> I'm going to just do CS602. Um, um, let me see. So now here you will click on please configure a, an interpreter before proceeding. So you want to choose from list. Command require the command line to to which I like to. So now I'm just gonna click install here and see what it said. Agree. So I'm gonna block in my um, my charger. All right, continue on battery power. So at this step, once it's done, it will say the software was installed. Um, so you just need to hit done. Um, I'm going to hit cancel here and try this again since um, it tried to run the other thing early, earlier. So I'm going to click here, choose from a list. So you can see right here, it seemed not to show um, the Anaconda path. So when we are reading this instruction right here, it said that from the list, uh, we want to choose the interpreter located within the Anaconda 3 distribution folder. Eclipse may in the process present a selection needed window. Basically what it said is you want to show a list like this and you want to choose the one that have the Anaconda 3 folder path. Um, as we can see over here, there's none. So um, let's click cancel for now. So if you don't see the Anaconda 3 path, let's um, try to get out this window. We're going to try to do in a different way. And you will go to um, Eclipse, choose preference. Um, so at this right here, yours will not, at first, this is what you see. So you will not see the um, Python interpreter like I have. Um, this is just because I did it before. So this is why I have this path. Um, for you, you will want to go to PyDiv and you want to open the interpreter like this. So it gives you three options. And from the three option, you would uh, select Python interpreter. And this is the page where you have it. Um, for you, it will not have this link, will not have this line. And so you go to browse for Python. All right. So since, like I said, I did it before, I found this path before, so this is where I am. For some of you, you might be in the document folder um, or in other folder at the as a default. So you want to go to either your name or user folder or the Mac HD. Um, so I'm just gonna go to user folder. And so from the user folder, you want to find a user folder and then you want to find your name with the house symbol right here. And then you want to go to the off folder. For some reason, the Anaconda 3 always in the off folder. So you want to select the off folder, select the Anaconda 3 folder and go to the bin folder. And so in here you want to find Python um, applications. Um, so try to go to P letter. So right here, you see a list of Python 
um, three in Python. So if you just click on one, you see this one is document, this one is document. Um, you want to select the one that say applications. So this one say application, this is what I want. So I just click open. And now, so you have the path. So um, since I already have this path before, that's why I said an interpreter is already configured in the path. For you, you will not have this problem because you haven't configured the path before. So as for you, you would click OK. And this is what it's going to show on your computer. Um, at this step, you should be all right. And you just need to click Apply and Close. Um, um, so you should be all set by this step. Um, go back to the instruction page. Um, you, you just need to check that you are able to use NumPy and Pandas packages. Um, and to do that, you first need to open the console tab. Um, here it should give you the instruction to do that. So you want to click window show view in console. So now go back here, window show view in console. And once the console tab open, step number two, say that you would find this symbol and click PyDeep console. So symbol right here, PyDeep console, you select Python console, click OK. So now you have the ready environment to type in. All you need to do is to type in import numby and import pandas, which I'm going to do. Sorry, import numpy, click enter, import pandas, click enters. So if there's no errors, line show underneath your, when you just type in, that mean NumPy and Pandas is ready to use. Um, however, if you have the errors line shown up, it means that there might be some errors um, with the path that I showed you earlier. So maybe the path that you choose is not from Anaconda 3 folder. So you want to go back to Eclipse, Preference, um, go to the Python interpreter, and make sure that the path configured right here is the path from Anaconda 3. Make sure you browse and find the right folder. All right, so that's pretty much it at this step. You should be all set um, for all the installation for the semester. Um, and uh, feel free to, I hope this video is helpful and feel free to let me know or Professor Babayan know if you have any um, further questions.